Hello, hello, hello! It is Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. My days are all mixed up. But uh, anyway, hello, Scully. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Hello, Boo. Hello, Max. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're all having a good day. All right, we we should be back on track now. It's a Mario Party day. A normal Mario Party day. So we're just gonna go in and depart for adventure. Get to lurk as I do chores. Hopefully the chores go well. I haven't done my chores because I'm like, I'll just do dishes later. I'll just do dishes later. So, yeah. Super. <laughs> So it's called so cute. Well, thank you. And um, I do have costume changes. Uh, they are redeemed with a thousand channel points, and there are twenty of them. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much. All right, choose characters. Um, I just know and Peach lost the last time. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go all on hard. Because why would I ever do anything else? Uh, Luigi's engine room. That's where we're heading today. That's the only other board we haven't done other than. It's the only other board we haven't done than Bowser and Eternal Star. <laughs> Thank you, Vegeta. Thank you. And 50 turns because, again, why would I do anything less? Why would I do anything less? I don't. <laughs> Because I have no sanity. I have, like, negative sanity, if anything. But Luigi's Engine Room is one of my favorite boards from one. So I am excited. I'm so excited. All right, this is the engine room. The engine in the center hasn't enough energy. <gasps> oh, no, and it won't move at all. That's bad. We must search for energy and get that engine moving. I wonder what will happen when it starts to when it starts moving again. But beware of that fake inventor, Bowser, causing trouble for people. That's what he lives for. Love that. Now then, let's decide the turn order. And boom, shaka laka. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> well, going last, that's where I belong. It's fine. Not the first time, definitely won't be the last. <laughs> All right, and this is a pretty standard board of Mario Party. You got different options. The star space moves after you get it. It's one of them. And uh, it's one of my favorites. I like it. I just really like the music here. Oh, I love it. So how is everyone today? Today's been as normal as you can get it so far. I'd say at least for me. Oh, of course I roll a nine for, for realsies. A uh, map where, okay, star is over there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go this way. So the gimmick of this board is these red and blue gates. Every turn, they switch. Costume change, you don't want short hair? All right, we have Melly then. We have Melia from Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, Future Connected, I couldn't think of the name of the DLC for a second. <laughs> Could not think of the DLC for a second. But I do really like Melly because I had a specific costume change for uh, for uh, Melia when I played through Xenoblade Chronicles and I did the DLC story, but it was only like up for three streams and I felt really bad. So I decided to make it a costume change. Oh! Aha! Oops. <laughs> That's what I get, I guess. That's fine. They can, they can go take care of those. Ha-ha! It's mine! It's mine! Ha-ha-ha! Yay! Twelve! Twelve coins! Look at me go! That's a lot of money. Yep, and the red and blue doors are closed! And 
Well, blue doors are closed, red doors are open, and they switch every turn. Um, those little guys stationed right there on that bottom path, uh, if you pay them 20 coins, yeah, it's a pretty hefty price, uh, if you pay them 20 coins, they will swap the gates. So, um, if DK rolls high enough, and he does not, he could have very well screwed me over. <laughs> but nope. I will get a star this turn. Look at me go. Hi, Roland. Yeah. Well, we're doing okay. So far, anyway. Thank you, Toad, for my star. Yahoo! Let's go. Yay, stars. Yes. Absolutely. This is the engine room, but what kind of engine room is it? I have absolutely no idea. I, I, I would say neither do I, but I, I do know. Actually. Hydrate or dietary, thank you for the hydrate! <sighs> I can close the lid on my drink. Now, I don't necessarily have water, but I have a bottle of green tea here. And I drink it a lot. So, better than pop. <laughs> Granted, I did have a pop yesterday, but yesterday was a whole debacle in and of itself. Basically the same thing. Yeah, it's something to drink, so it's all good. Face lift. We get to pull at Bowser's face. Alright, where? Oh, bottom right. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Boop. I think that's good. And we could do this if we really wanted to and block it. But I mean, it's the AI. There's really no point. <laughs> they already know. I mean, we can we can pick Bowser's nose, poke his eye, and just leave it there. It's fine. It's fine. Hundo, let's go. Luigi wins. I do wins. Hooray! <laughs> and 18 coins. Not enough for a star. Plus, I have to go by Bowser. I have to go by Bowser, so... It's not great for me. <laughs> it's not great for me. I'm not looking so great. Don't have 20 coins, so goodbye. Oh, he's like one coin short. Now, uh, the happening spaces... Um, there's a few of them scattered around on the board. What? Oh, okay. Um, those two right there bump you up to that little top path. I believe the star can be up there. So it would be kind of a problem if, um... It'd be kind of a problem if the star was up there. But anyway. Uh, hi! Hi, Bowser. I am Bowser, king of invention. Let me show you my invention with this... With this mecha. Give me one second.
I'm so sorry about that. I had kind of an, a phone call I needed. Not quite the phone call I had on Tuesday, but uh, <laughs> still kind of an important one I needed to answer. Uh, hello, Blue. Hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. It is Tessa time. Yes, um, Bowser. Yeah, I kind of uh, slowly went through that. Um, Bowser's like, hey, look at my invention. And he creates a coin and it actually works. And he's like, that'll be 20 coins. So it's really 19. He takes 19 coins away from you. And that's what happened. And the happening space I landed on flopped the doors. So, yay, phone calls. At least no one told me they were in a wreck, so. <laughs> that's good, at least. Wait, oh. <laughs> I was looking at Peach. And I was holding down to the right. I'm like, why aren't we going down to the right? I'm like, oh crap, I'm Luigi today. <laughs> oh, that phone call messed with me. There. <laughs> no wrecks today. Hopefully no wrecks today, 96. I even, like, screwed up right there at the beginning. Honestly, and I got the best score. How does that happen? I mean, we all did good. You, need, you just need to get better than an 80. For, for the OG crazy cutter. You just need to do better than 80. Uh, before I forget, because I did not do this last time. Before I forget. Save settings every turn, message fast. I forgot to do that last time, but Peach's birthday cake goes by really fast anyway. And uh, there really was no issue <laughs> yesterday, because uh, right after I got that phone call on on a Tuesday, uh, pretty much right after I heard what was going on, I just immediately shut stream down and uh, I just closed out of the game. That's it. No nothing saved, no nothing. So it was just a clean slate from yesterday. So we're good. All right, how? Oh yeah, I'm right here. Uh, I don't have any money. I can probably get some money. <laughs> I would like some money. Can we have a good mini game that I can? Nope, never mind. <laughs> nope, never mind. I don't think I've won bumper balls in quite some time. Unfortunately, because last time I just kept getting wrecked. We. Oh goodness, go away. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Whee! Ha-ha! Uh, and now we are at a stalemate. Blue and yellow, those are Chargers colors. And speaking of the Chargers, what the heck are they doing? Like, for real, letting go of our, our all of our wide receivers, essentially? Like, what the heck? Like, bruh, are you for real? Go, get in the water. Wario, get in water. Water good for you. Hydrate or dehydrate. And I, how about you dehydrate in the hydrate? <laughs> how about we do that? Oh. You, just, you turn just enough that I can't quite momentum you. And don't worry about what I'm saying because I don't know what I'm saying either. Oh, come on. I need to win. I need it to win. Dang it. Oh, that's rude. That's very rude. I needed some money. Can someone give me money? I don't have any. Can someone give it to me, please? Alright, game is saved. Uh, doors swapped. And I am literally one space before the star. Unless someone decides to give me money. Nope. Alright, cool. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, yesterday was kind of a fun adventure. Um, so yesterday, after I picked up, well, kind of before I went to pick her up, a cat instead. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, yesterday I picked up my oldest daughter from her after-school program. Uh, before that, I called Pizza Hut because we we live like a block and a half away from Pizza Hut. Um, but. 
uh, last month, she earned one of those, like, book it coupons for a free personal pan pizza. And it's like, let's get that used. So, called Pizza Hut, got that order placed. I need one of them. <laughs> um, so we got the order placed, and she got a free personal pan pizza. Which, perfectly fine. Perfectly... Never mind. Not perfectly fine. Not perfectly fine. No, don't. DK, please. No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, now you're broke. It's okay. I, I'm also broke. Uh, <laughs> uh, so she got personal pan pizza. But when I came back and I walked right by my husband who was sitting on the couch, uh, he's like, man, that pizza smells good. And it did smell good. And uh, he's like, you know what? Pizza sounds good. And it's like, all right. I mean, I'm not going to stop you if you want to order pizza, especially after the last couple days we've had. <laughs> and uh, he ordered pizza. So about like 20-ish. No, not 20. Like 15 minutes later. Um, about 15 minutes later. I went back over to Pizza Hut, saw the same person, and uh, we got pizza. That was rude, game. Come on. <laughs> uh. But, uh, yep, we had Pizza Hut in, like, for the first time in, like, a year. <laughs> uh, where? Doors are down. Uh, shoot. How do I want to go about this? Well, let's try this. Nice. And Pizza Hut Pizza was actually pretty good last night. No, I don't want to move them. Because I can go back this way. <laughs> oh, but I also have to see my favorite Bowser. I mean, all Bowsers are my favorite Bowser, but I'm still my favorite Bowser. Uh, so there was that. I went to Pizza Hut twice last night. <laughs> and then, uh, as we were eating our pizza, as we were eating our supper, uh, we were watching, like, this video that someone posted out of, like, their top 100 Disney Channel songs, or, like, their Disney songs. And we came across some High School Musical songs, and it's like, dang, it's been a while since we watched High School Musical. So we got Disney Plus again. We'll probably cancel it after a month. <laughs> and we watched High School Musical last night. And uh, we remember so much of it. <laughs> All right. All right, where? Aha! I did it! Finish! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're soaring, flying. Yeah, great song. Love High School Musical. So iconic. And uh, when I was in middle school, I had like a huge high school musical phase. I think I've talked about it a few times before, but I, I had a huge high school musical phase. And speaking of all of that, there's our question of the day. What's a movie you rewatch every so often? I Probably high school musical. <laughs> uh, the first one is just super iconic. Yeah, the, the first one is so iconic. The I love the second one a lot. And the third one, I've seen the third one once a few years ago, because we watched it, me and my husband watched it for the first time. Um, we watched it for the first time um, back in 2020. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, it was at the time where, like, the rapid test didn't... There wasn't a whole lot of, like, rapid COVID tests at the time. And my husband had to get COVID tested. Um, 
So he got tested, had to quarantine for a few days until he got the results. And so we watched a lot of Disney movies at the time. So, and High School Musical was one of them. We watched all three of them. And, uh... Yeah, that was the first time I had seen three. And we watched the first one again last night. We'll probably watch two tonight. Probably. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Electro in it? Nice. Nice. I think I've really only seen, like, the first... Tobey Maguire Spider-Man? That's the one I have, like, the most recollection of. I am in, like, zero danger of getting my coins taken from me, so I'm not gonna do a damn thing. I might wiggle. Like, ooh, four coins. What's that gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, High School Musical. I had, like, a big phase. And I've got, I still have the CD with all the songs and a karaoke CD of all the songs from the first High School Musical. So I, I listen to the songs a lot. Um, Bop to the Top is my jam. So uh, don't at me. Do you want to make this by Man 2? It's so good. Definitely keep that in mind. Don't really watch movies very often anymore, really. Uh, you're stealing from DK. That's fine. It's not me. Don't steal from me. So, but also, uh, when I was in uh, seventh grade, during my big old high school musical phase, um, one of our school projects in my English class was to uh, write a letter to a celebrity. And in that letter, we had to ask for an autograph to, for them to send back. <laughs> and uh, the celebrity I picked was Lucas Graybill. The actor who played Ryan Evans in High School Musical, because Ryan was my favorite. Still is. I, I like Ryan. But yeah, one of my favorite characters, so yeah. Wrote to him, and uh, I, got a, I got an autograph back. It's somewhere in my belongings. I can't find it for the life of me. I wish I knew where it was, so so I can like show it off. All right, grab bag. Time to rob people. I have like no money, so I should not be a target. I say I have no money as I have 27. There we go. There we go. Get you caught up like this. Oh, come on. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> Give me your money. Give me all your finances. I am robbing her blind. Now she has nothing. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I am laughing all the way to the bank. What now? What now? What now? Ha 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 ha. Maniacal, like, <laughs> My husband is also staring at me. <laughs> Which, you know, that's par for the course. <laughs> it's cool I sent you an autograph back. Yeah, it is. It is. And there was, like, a lot of cool celebrities that had sent stuff back. So it was really cool. Mom, I'm scared. Tess is going maniacal again. Can you pick me up? Mom, Tess is going crazy again. <laughs> Okay, don't look at the kitty. The kitty? 
<laughs> oh, man. You know, it was kind of cathartic to do that. With the way she... With the way Peach treated me last time. Uh... Hmm. So I need to go this way. Not do that. <laughs> Did not do that. I love the the Mika and Remy emotes. I love those so much. Look at the kitties. Everything will be fine. Also, hello Johnny. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Of course, maniac. Whew. Yep. Yep. Nothing like being a maniac. Oh. Oh boy. Wee. Everybody jump. Nope, don't squish me. Please don't squish me. We. I feel like I remember... I don't remember who my sister wrote to when she had that class in seventh grade. I do remember my cousin writing to uh, Linkin Park because he was a... I mean, I was also a fan of Linkin Park. Uh, I think he got something back. Like, I think my cousin got an autograph back from, like, Linkin Park whenever uh, he did it, because my sister and my cousin were the same age, and they were, like, a couple grades ahead of me. So, uh, maybe that actually worked out for me. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, so, but I, I don't remember who my sister wrote to, and I don't really care to ask her. <laughs> I don't really care to ask, so... <laughs> Uh, but I do remember I wrote to Lucas Grayville, got an autograph back, can't find it for the life of me. So, good afternoon, yes, absolutely. Didn't come in with Wrestle Roulette, but thought the maniac would be more fitting. Oh, it was appropriate, all right. It was definitely appropriate at the time. <laughs> Just taking everything from Peach. <laughs> um, yeah, how dare you rob me like that? Oh, don't worry, Karma's gonna get you real good. <laughs> uh, speaking of Peachy, uh, Princess Peach Showtime comes out tomorrow, the 22nd, and that is exciting. I don't know if I'm going to pick up the game day one or not. I don't know, but it's exciting. And also, tomorrow's my mother-in-law's birthday, so I don't know if we're going to do anything. It might be on Saturday if we do something. It might be. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> didn't know a single celebrity as a child didn't even know what a celebrity was except Michael Jackson and Justin Bieber fair enough fair enough um once I uh, got into k-pop like 14 years ago um, I kind of lost track of like American celebrities I kind of know a, a, a fair handful now but like yeah I was like totally immersed in k-pop like 14 years ago and like the next several years after that, so. Alright, let's go. We. Alright. Oh. Come on. There we go. That should do it. There we go. Boom shakalaka. You break dance, Luigi. You do your flares. I, it's not really a flare, it's just more of a spin. Spin into the pose, you know. Break dancing. He's break dancing. We're not taking that away from him. We love break dancing Luigi around here. Oh no. Okay, good. I was so worried for a second. I'm like, no, please, not me. I'm working so hard to, to get up there. All right, so we need a specific number. We just need enough to make it past the top blue gate, but not enough to, to keep going. This is why Luigi's engine room is... Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. DK decided. He's like, no, you're not going to have nice things. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. It's actually... Let me check the map. I'm going to see the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, ooh, uh, no, actually. Hmm. Why'd I have to roll an eight? 
Oh, I, I was kind of screwed with that dice block, actually. If I maybe rolled, like... Seven? <laughs> then it would have been fine, but no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, seven, eight. Ah, why? Might as well just save my money. No, I won't do it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go this way, though. I don't want to say hi to Bowser for a third time. If you're hearing loud noises, that is my husband taking the packaging from the package he got today. Because it was his uh, Dragon Ball Super manga that showed up today. And uh, he's just popping all the packaging. <laughs> and scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, wee! Uh, give me that. No, I want the money. I want money. Give me money. Oh, nope, that's not money. That's a hammer. Uh, I'm squished. I want money. Give me money. No. I want it. No. I want it all. I want it all. Six coins from that? Really? Rude. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, man. <laughs> and, uh, I think it was Tuesday morning where, uh, my husband ordered, um... The Dragon Ball Super manga, just like the next few volumes. And of course, um, one of the volumes isn't coming till Monday? Yeah, not coming till Monday, which kind of sucks. <laughs> because he ordered what? Seven, eight, nine? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And eight isn't coming till Monday. <laughs> I believe it happened the first time he ordered like one through six. He ordered one through six, and like two or three didn't show up till several days later. Those are nice emotes, yeah. All right, um. So, uh, yeah, it is kind of fun to have manga around the house. Because I know the Dragon Ball Super manga is, like, fairly different than, uh, the anime. Is this one? Rude. Ready? Go! Alright, let's go. Oh, come on. We can do this. Go, Ouija! Oh, come on. Oh, we got one more. We got one more. Go. Come on. Go, go, go. Full throttle. Full throttle. Go, go, go. Yeah! We did it! Let's go. Soul Card Derby sucks in one. <laughs> I say as a... Um, Okay, so in, in a Discord server I am a part of, they do, like, a morning post, or, like, you know, kind of like a daily post, just kind of going over the day, and, um, one of the things, like, uh, they ask a question, and, uh, the question was, like, what's a game you would want to try to speedrun? And I'm like, hum, I mean, I've been thinking about this, and I was, I meant to, like, look it up. And I was looking it up, and there is uh, speedruns for uh, Mario Party 1 Minigame Island. And there's, like, you know, different categories and stuff. Um, there's, like, you know, any percent on whether it's, like, the N64, like, original hardware, or emulator, or on the Switch. And, uh, like, the easiest way for me to do it and actually record it is... On the Switch, probably. <laughs> so that's probably how I would do it. 
And there's really not very many entries for like any percent or 100% minigame island. So it'd be kind of fun to speedrun a Mario Party game or something related to Mario Party. Hold on, actually. Let me see the map. Oh, DK's literally right there. Okay, this is perfect. Let me get my star back, thank you. I would love my star back. Getting a package feels like Christmas? It kind of does, especially if you forgot what you ordered. <laughs> and isn't Easter just a second Christmas for kids? Yeah, could be. Could be. I know people celebrate Easter differently. Um, it can be. Yeah. I do remember, uh, when I was growing up, this kind of plays into, like, you know, Mario Party and, like, video games and such. Um, me and my sister would do an egg hunt together. We, you know, we would, uh, you know, dye the eggs and stuff, uh, in the morning. And then later, the Easter Bunny would, uh, go hide the eggs in our specific eggs. There. Um, so the Easter Bunny would go hide the eggs, and uh, me and my sister would go looking around our front yard, backyard, they'd all be outside, and we'd go hunt for them, and the first person to find all of their specific eggs won a, like, game they could rent, a game of their choosing to rent from our local video game rental store. Like, it, it's no longer around in my hometown, but, like, it was the game rental store, and it was really fun. Like, game and movie and stuff. Um, but, like, we would be able to, to rent a game from the store, and it would be really freaking cool. So, it was incentive to find all the eggs. And, um, we rented Mario Party 3 quite a bit, which is why it's my favorite Mario Party. Because we owned one. It was the first video game I ever played in my life. Um, because I think my sister got it for her birthday, and then, like, I just really liked it and played it a lot. Uh, and we rented three a lot. And, uh, we also rented, like, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, other N64 games like that. Um, we rented Mario Kart a fair bit until we actually bought it from GameStop when they had N64 games back in the day. Oh, thank goodness it's not Thank goodness. Um, and then, like, other games like Mickey Speedway USA, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, like, games like that we rented a lot. And, like, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, like, the best games in the world. Until, you know, it went out of business and they were just outright selling the games. And we picked up two games from that store when they were uh, going out of business, which was Pokemon Stadium and uh, Mickey Speedway USA. Those were the two games we had picked up. Uh, and funny enough, I, I've noticed this with like people um, with Mario Party's one and two. I feel like you either grew up with one or the other. Like, for those who grew up with Mario Party 1, didn't really play 2, and those who uh, played Mario Party 2 didn't really play 1. And I was the- I was one who played Mario Party 1 and not- and not 2. Because I didn't own 2 until 2011, which I got it for Christmas one year. Brother always rented Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3 for the SNES specifically was what me and my sister played a lot. <laughs> we played it a lot growing up and it was kind of an easy one because all the fatalities and stuff was just a one button press. <laughs> it was so easy. And we also have uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Which is like just stuff from like the first three games on the N64. We do have that. So, and I also have uh, Mortal Kombat 9. <laughs> I also have that and I've never played it yet. I mean, that might be something I actually do on stream just to incentivize me to play it. Mm, I need to go down, I think. So let's do it. So, 
Yeah, because there's lots of games that I have started playing, or it's like on my list of games I want to play, and I just haven't gotten around to playing them, or haven't gotten around to finishing them. Uh, I can think of two games in particular that I have played and haven't beaten yet, and it's been a long time since I've gotten back to them, and one of them is Conker's Bad Fur Day and Okami. Those two games I desperately need to go back to, but if I were to like pick them up and play them again, I would probably just start from the beginning. I'd always lose and I was very obsessed with the line, GET OVER HERE! Yes, love it, Scorpion, great. And that'd be cool, it would be. It would be. Ready? Go! Alright. Like, I was uh, skimming through a speedrun of Minigame Island. Oh, jeez. And uh, the thing they did for... Um, oh, I should probably help. <laughs> the thing they did for um, Running of the Bulb was like, I had never seen it before. Hey, guys, let's actually be Ghostbusters. Guys, punch ghosts. Even though Pokemon logic refutes this because you can't punch a ghost because fighting is immune to ghost. Or no, ghost is immune to fighting. Wow, I had that backwards. Punch the ghosts. Punch the ghosts. We're right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, uh, next time I have the bulb and that minigame comes up, I want to try it myself because it was kind of crazy. I'd never seen it before. And for, like, what you're trying to do, it, it does work. So, punch the ghost, yes. Because uh, Pokemon Logic says um, ghost is immune to fighting, so you can't punch a ghost. But there are plenty of other moves that are punches that lets you hit ghosts. Like Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch. Like, bro, those are punches. Why can't you... You can bite a ghost, because bite... And, like, bite would be super effective on a ghost. So you can bite a ghost, but you can't punch a ghost? Like, bro, what? <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I have gone off about this before. It's like Pokemon logic is rooted in real world logic, but sometimes Pokemon logic doesn't make any sense. Well, my star's getting stolen again. Gee, we're just passing around the star back and forth, aren't we? Why can't you punch a ghost, but you can thunderbolt it? Exactly! Exactly, like what constitutes being able to hit a ghost? Like, it's confusing. It's confusing. Like, I don't get it. All right, so what am I working with here? Star is up to the right a little bit. I have five moves. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so no, I'm not going to swap them. Because Wario swapped them earlier, and that actually benefited me quite a bit. So there we go. Boom shakalaka. Would you smooch a ghost? I don't know. I don't know. Why would you want to? Wee. I'm dancing. I think I'm, I might be a bit bigger of a threat this time than the last time. Why am I right in front of the pipe? Bro. Thank you. Miss. Don't drop that dun da da. Hey, I say that every time. I need to stop. <laughs> but Wario dropped that dun da da. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah, and like a, a speed run of like minigame island. There's no real trickery no real cool skips and stuff it's just straightforward beat the mini games that's essentially it and i think the world record for like any percent uh mini game island on the switch is like 30 something minutes and like the world record for 100 percent is like 43 minutes 43 seconds that's how i remember it was 43 43 um, but like something like that, I feel like that'd be kind of more in my wheelhouse, you know, when I practice the mini games, I can, you know, kind of get good at it. So, uh, that's just kind of my train of thought. 
Oh, that's... Ooh! <laughs> anyway. I always felt bugs should be weak against poison in real world logic, but that's not the case. I think it used to be? I want to say it used to be. In like Gen 1, but Gen 1 was so jank. Gen 1 mechanics were very jank. And if Gen 1 was any other generation but the first one, it would be like the worst in the series. You know? But people have the nostalgia filter over Gen 1. I mean, don't mind me. I also have, you know, the nostalgia filter over Gen 1. Gen 1's really fun, but I also recognize it's jank as fuck. Pardon my French, but it is. What if the ghost was nice? I don't know. I don't know. I think bugs are weak Weak against enough already? Yeah, but I mean, Bun's a pretty cool type. Uh, Grass is weak to a lot, though. Grass is weak to a lot. Alright. Start. Oh, My shoulder. Collarbone. Ugh. Collarbone, because I, I rolled my shoulder and, like, oh, everything was cracking. Did I do good? Please tell me I did good. I did not! Oh, that's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Like, what? No, I didn't miss a single freaking note. Like, bro, what? I didn't miss a damn thing. Rude. That is absolutely rude. <laughs> like, how dare you? Can you swap them, please? <gasps> <laughs> Um, my friend is trying to speedrun a game to beat the record he needs to compete in one hour and 29 minutes. He usually takes eight hours? Dang. Like, speedruns are insane. Honestly. They are insane. And, like, on the topic of, like, speedruns and stuff, it's, like, um, for March Melon Madness over on Ultra Melon's channel, uh, my race against one, Bradley Rose, is this Sunday, so just a few days away. I haven't touched Ocarina since Monday stream when I actually pra practiced it. <laughs> well, I'm here, so I made it. Um, and, you know, we kind of all caught the speedrunning bug, maybe. Um, but it's been pretty fun to learn some stuff and learn some strats and all that. Haha, <laughs> we get to do this again! So that's been pretty fun. Yeah, Gust is the normal move in... Is normal. Yeah, it is normal. Should be flying. I think they fixed that in Gen 2. But I'm rooting for him since he's awesome. Yes, absolutely. But like, if I were to pick a game to speedrun, that's something in my wheelhouse. Probably something Mario Party, honestly. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! I'm in danger. Oh, no, 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 no. Peach, bro. There we go. Oh, I'm not enough, not close enough. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no, 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 no. Okay, this is so much worse than last time. What? I think I'm not close enough when I hit the button. Ah. I think that's what's going on. Well, uh, you know what? This is fine. <laughs> this is fine, I still have 20 coins. <laughs> Xenoblade speedrun? Alright, there... I, I remember looking up Xenoblade speedruns. Um, for the first Xenoblade Chronicles, um, there's two versions of it. For at least Definitive Edition. Um, cause there was a, like, a, a skip you can do that can get you into an area where you are not supposed to get into till like late game. And because of that, you, the experience you get from like getting the landmark, oh, you get so much from it. 
And you can just like blast through the game that way. Or like blast through like the beginning of the game. And they patched that out in Definitive Edition because they, they it, it was kept in when it was first released, but they patched it out. So, but I don't know what the strats are for Xenoblade Definitive Edition speedrun, but for uh, Xenoblade 2, uh, the world record for it is like just under four hours, I think. Um, and I know a couple of clips and stuff. Um, I showed one off when uh, I went through, like, uh, in Uriah. There's a clip you can do to kind of go through the gate so you don't have to do the skill check and go <laughs> fight those Ignas, which I'm thankful for. Um, but I haven't really seen much of 3. But I also haven't played 3 again. I would love to. Because uh, this is my second playthrough of 2. Uh, you know, currently streaming. So, I mean, it'd be pretty fun. It would be pretty fun. But, like, there are some, like, complicated, like, clips and stuff. And there's also, like, DLC, no DLC either. I think Wolfric for, like, no DLC is, like, your your go-to. And then Crosset for DLC. Like, Crosset is the speedrun queen because of her ability with HP potions. Like, the damage output is insane. But, uh, I don't know if Xenoblade's one I would speedrun, because it's a longer speedrun. And I don't know if I can really handle a long speedrun like that. So. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> ha. But, uh, yeah, probably, like, a, a Mario Party speedrun. Because, like, for Mario Party 1... There's uh, Minigame Island, any percent, 100%, um, because there is a branching path with many games you can play on Minigame Island. So I'd imagine, you know, any percent is just whatever path you pick, and 100% uh, is all the minigames. Uh, and then there's, like, all boards on easy, normal, and hard, where you just have to do uh, 20 turns on every single board. And have to get the fastest time. You have to play and win. So. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> um, I don't mean like it'd be pretty fun to like speed through all the boards and win. So you gotta go through all eight boards though. So you have to unlock Bowser's Magma Mountain, and you have to unlock Eternal Star. And to unlock Bowser's Magma Mountain, you need a thousand coins to... Or maybe, that's not a thousand, it's like 700 something. Um, because it'll be, the like the, the actual like map will be available in the uh, shop, in the item shop on, the, on your hub world. And then Eternal Star, you need to uh, accumulate 100 stars throughout playing Mario Party. And then once you do, a cutscene will happen and you will be forced to play on Eternal Star. <laughs> and then you gotta beat it and then you get credits and there's that, you've unlocked it. So, but I love Eternal Star. I love the music on Eternal Star. Like, I can go on and on about the music. It's probably why I like Spaceland so much, because it's very reminiscent of Eternal Star, at least music-wise. Oh, a moment of silence. <laughs> oh. But yeah, probably if I were to speedrun a game like I, I'd say in terms of like picking a game to speedrun it would have to be a game you would know very well and something that's kind of more in your skill set in terms of starting off speedrunning games where am I going okay I'm okay with this. Let's see how it plays out, though. Uh, so yeah, I would probably pick, um, probably pick 
like a Mario Party mini game island. Probably not a mini game coaster in two, cause God, that's, I don't think I've ever cleared it on hard before. <laughs> because you wanna know why? You wanna know, I might've cleared it on hard one time, but like sneak and snore is part of like the hard mini game coaster. And I hate sneak and snore. Absolutely hate it. Talk about reminding me of Squid Game. Oh man, Squid Game, so good. Season two's coming out this year. I think latter half of the year, I think. So, that's exciting. No, no, I tried punching her. Damn. Wow, you're really gonna make me look at the chest in shame? Wow, wow game. Do you have no honor? You're really gonna humiliate me like this? <laughs> You're really gonna humiliate me like this? Oh, that's just rude. That is absolutely rude. How dare you? At least I still have enough. I might not have enough after this, because I'm probably gonna get my coins stolen from me. That's great. Hello, Sifu! Hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the lurk. Hope you're doing well. It's the one where you said boom shakalaka. Yep, put the boom and boom shakalaka. Please steal money from someone else or steal a star from me. That works too, I guess. I guess that works too, I guess. I don't know. There's just a lot of boo shenanigans on this board because all the pipes, all the pathways lead to that one specific spot. So, um, boo is mandatory. I say mandatory, but there have been times where I have been, um, looped around and I couldn't get to boo because, um, I am in the spot where you can get looped around pretty good. So... Good. Good. Give me the star. Hello. Hi. Hi, Toad. Um, I had a star stolen from me, and I would like to file an insurance claim. <sighs> oh, you're gonna make me pay for the star anyway? Well, it's fine. I'll, I'll just get my star back then. Surely the engine isn't moving because there isn't enough energy. If only there were energy, it would move. Of course it would move. So, uh, talking about, like, more about speedruns and stuff. Speedruns that intimidate me? Like, Mario 64 speedruns. Mario 64 speedruns intimidate me. And honestly, I feel like the timing is so weird with it. I don't know. It's, like, the only game I've seen that the timing is just right as you power on the game. Because, um... Any other speedrun I've seen is like, the game starts on like, you know, new file, but like Mario 64 is just, game starts on uh, as soon as you power it up. Which is so weird to me. Hey, Wario, can we not do this, please? Boop, boop, ha ha. I want it, oh, I'm still stunned, it's fine. But even then, like people can beat the game so fast. So fast. Like, I can't. I can't, man. And, like, I even have, like, you know, a speedrun I am referencing, because just in case, you know, I do make it to Mario 64 for March Melon Madness, there's no guarantees. Um, but, you know, just in case, I did play a little bit of Mario 64 on Tuesday because I wanted to keep myself occupied the afternoon. Um, and just like seeing like what stars were gotten, how everything was done, and even, and it was a 70 star speed run. It's not like top 10 speed run or anything because like his run was ranked like 500 something on the leaderboard. Because <laughs> it was like sub one hour, barely, like a couple minutes, like 58 minutes I want to say. You know, that's the speedrun I'm referencing, but it's from a content creator that I like. So it's like, yeah, I'll go back and watch it. And it was from a few years ago. And it's like, holy crap, I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> so, I've just been kind of going through. I also haven't touched Ocarina since Monday. I think I've said that already. Um, 
but uh but yeah I think I'll just kind of go through and just practice the the Deku tree basement skip see average completion time for uh what like Mario 64 Um, I know 70 star speed run. Um, probably 50-ish minutes, I'd say. Yeah, any percent? Any percent? I don't know. I just know 70 star run for Mario 64, I'd say average is like 50 minutes. Like, the world record on it's like, I think 40 minutes and something. But like, yeah, there's so many people speedrunning Mario 64, it's crazy. But like, yeah, speedrunner, I am not. And this is from someone who like, has barely played Mario 64. And I say barely played as in the first time I played the game was a year ago. <laughs> and I had never done a Bowser fight until Tuesday. Cause I got up to 12 stars. Still trying to figure out which stars are, are good that I can get and all. Because, uh, pros of going last, I can see all the other ocarina races. Cons of going last, um, little time to prepare for Mario 64. Which I'm not even confident in in any way, so... Honestly, with Mario 64, I feel like Bradley has more of a chance. But, I mean, either way, you know, Mario 64. We gotta get through Ocarina first! Ah! I can't win that against the hard AI for the life of me. I think I may have won it like two times <laughs> out of the entirety I've been playing Mario Party 1. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Um, oh yeah, like any other like speed runs and stuff. Um, if I were to like seriously consider speed running, I'd probably just pick Mario Party 1, maybe Minigame Island. Or maybe like <laughs> do an all boards, uh, all boards like easy mode or something. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun though. You know? But I also haven't done. Minigame Island in like maybe a year. Hello, Ozzy. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Give me the star, please. Hello. Yes. Hi. I will buy a star, please. Thank you. Do, 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 do. All right, what kind of energy would it take to get him moving again? Do you know? I mean, star power. Obviously, yeah. right? It's Mario Party. Everything is powered by stars. I mean, my channel points are stars, so that makes sense. <laughs> go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. Love it. Love it. All right, um... DK, because DK has the most coins. You got thank you. Take all of it! Let's go! I essentially got that star for free. Let's go. That was beautiful. I believe the range on Boo in Mario Party 1 is anywhere from like 1 to 20 coins. And I got 20 out of them, so. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's our question of the day. What's a movie you rewatch every so often? I asked that because last night me and my husband were had rewatched uh, the first High School Musical. Star. Because that movie is just so iconic. Yeah. I did it! Finish. Hooray! Great dance, Luigi. Ah, uh, so yeah. And we're probably gonna watch High School Musical 2 tonight, sometime. <laughs> um, 
and we'll probably watch High School Musical 3. I don't know, probably not Friday night because we watch Friday Night Smackdown, because we watch wrestling. Maybe Saturday, I don't know. I really don't know what everything's gonna look like for the rest of the week, but it's fine. Question day. I like the first Underworld movie a lot. Usually watch every now and then. Nice. Nice. I, yeah, just hearing Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. I'm gonna watch the Ninja Turtle movies again. Because they used to be on Netflix, like, several years ago. And they took them down. <laughs> and it made me really sad. I, TMNT 2, Secret of the Ooze, best one. Best one of the 90s movies, yes. Because I, I could probably quote that one word for word. Like all day or day. Boop. And we did this exact face earlier, so it's fine. It's fine. And yeah, like the first Ninja Turtle movie was pretty good, pretty solid. Raphael said damn a lot. <sighs> TMNT 2 is the best one. And Team NT3 is better than people give credit for, but it is it is not as good as the second one. So, there's that. There's my opinion on the 90s live-action Ninja Turtle movies. I mean, we also owned... I think we owned all three of them. I know we owned one and two for the longest time. We didn't get three till like, much later. Battery. At least it's not during a speed run. <laughs> that happened during my practice run Monday. Low battery. Where are we going? Uh, okay, I need to go this way. One, two, three, four, five. All right. How is it looking? Is it, is it what, DK? No, it's Wario, okay. Um, how much coins do I have compared to everyone else? Start. Uh, okay, yeah, you going for Peach. I don't have to do anything. I can just wiggle. Perfectly fine. And he, what is a third of 74? Me too. 24, Finish. roughly, give or take. Because you take a third of their coins. So. Alright. Game data is saved now. Alright, so, uh, also to explain some of these, like, special blocks. Uh, the yellow one rolls 1 to 3, the green one rolls 8 to 10, uh, the blue is a plus block, you gain coins the number you roll, the red is the minus block, which that one's popped up a lot for me, uh, and warp blocks are obvious, and then there's hidden blocks, which can yield either Koopa, Boo, or Bowser. Alright, cool, take my money. So Wario got money, got paid. Oh, well, DK's getting the star. Well, crap. Should have done my incantation. Didn't even think about it. You're not gonna say no, DK? But saying no to a star is such a power move, though. <laughs> I mean, I've done it a time or two. I have said no to a star. Okay. Not too bad. DK is also on his way over there. But he also doesn't have the money for it. 
So let's see if we can get up there before he does. I thought I landed on the happening for a second, but no, I didn't. Thank goodness. Oh. So yeah, pizza was in. Uh, pizza was the supper last night. And uh, yeah, first time we had Pizza Hut in quite some time, and it was actually really good. Because it used to not be. Because we, we would get it every Sunday. Used to, and uh, it was just not great. They screwed it up, but also, like, on the weekdays, Pizza Hut, our, our local Pizza Hut anyway, is so deserted. There was, like, nobody there. Leave me alone. Or back to this now. Riveting gameplay. Get in the water! Get in the water! Uh, momentum! Got killed. Come on. Oh, please, please, please. You're right there. You're right there. Come on. Oh! Ah! So close! Get in the water! Full send! No! Come on. But this is also one where it's, uh, if nobody wins, it's just a draw. That's awful. That's just rude of you, game. Come on. But, uh, yeah, maybe next time we get Pizza Hut pizza, it'll be during the week. Because <laughs> it was actually really good. It looks frustrating. It can be. It can be. If it's just, like, two people left, it's really hard to get momentum and knock people off. So I'd say if a strat to win is just try and knock like two at once or just have everyone kind of in a group and then momentum. I mean, momentum is the key. But at least in uh, Mario Party 2, there's like three stages to bumper balls. And they all play around the momentum, so. Ooh. Ooh, that's awkward. Hmm. Man, everyone's getting money getting paid, huh? Well... I mean, I rolled low enough. So I'm gonna say no. I rolled low enough to still hang back before the door switches. So I should be in good shape. Unless something happens, which, you know, it, uh, yeah, it very well could happen. Uh, B is on the left, isn't it? Because I always hold the controller um, in a way where my left thumb hits B and my right thumb hits A, so it's just left and right. Left and right. <laughs> I was caught up in singing 17 that I almost missed the button press. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Boop. And Shy Guy will trick you at times. And it's harder in the first Mario Party because there's no way to know. Because in my part 2, there's a timer that goes... Because Lakitu will fly across the top screen and shows you how much time you have to press the button. So you can kind of look at that to see if Shy Guy's going to trick you or not in my part 2. My part 1, you have no idea. It's just a gamble. you got to go for it. Like, full send. All day, every day. And it can be a pain in the butt sometimes. But it's okay. I mean, I love Mario Party 1, so... You know, that, that's one with, like, the nostalgia filters, because, like... I mean... Mario Party 1 is... You can definitely tell it's the first one. But, like, there were, there were definitely good things from it that even never showed up again in later Mario Parties. Like, minigames where you're, you all have to work together. Because uh, in later Mario parties, they delegated that to like special side modes, but not like actual mini games on the board. Um, I guess the boss battles in Mario Party Nine 
could kind of count, but it's like, I don't like nine. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, I do love the minigames in nine, like your standard minigames. Uh, but I don't like the car and the mechanics. Because, like, for as good as the minigames are, you do not play them very often in, like, a standard board. You just don't. And that's what I don't like about it. Like, at least with Mario Party 5, it's, like, the standard boards. You know, star space, go get star, get star, star space moves. You know, it's standard. So at least there's that for Mario Party 5, and I do like the minigames in, in 5 as well. Wee. What? I Ugh! That felt targeted. That felt targeted. How dare I lose? How dare you make me lose? It's just rude. It's absolutely rude. Boo. <laughs> uh, what turn are we on? Because I don't know. 27. Okay. Not too bad then. Not too bad. Bum, bum, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, she can steal a star, and that's not great. I probably should have targeted her. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I'll take my bonus, thank you. Pass by, go, collect $200. <laughs> Fix my headphones. They're all tangled up in awkward positions. Um. Huh. That's just kind of been a day so far, but it's fine. Just playing some Mario Party, which, you know, is normal. Like, I play Mario Party all the time. <laughs> ha! Take that! Boom! Ha ha! I would have probably raged if DK would have won that when I got there first, but oh well. Thankfully, the game gave it to me! Ha ha! And I got a little extra, too. But Peach is going to steal one of my stars, because of course she is. I can go for some Pizza Hut now. I mean, the only thing that can stop you is money. <laughs> hydrate! Thank you, Johnny. I shall hydrate. And the posture check. Those usually go hand in hand. I used to be pretty good about sitting up straight, but I have... I've been slacking a lot lately. <laughs> Ugh. Hydrate or dihydrate, yes, and costume change, boom! We haven't seen the Daisy costume change in a, in a hot minute, so it's kind of nice to see it. Even though this is a Mario Party where Daisy doesn't exist. <laughs> Alright, this is essentially try not to lose, because it's a Bowser. Control stick spinning. Some costume changes like to show up more often than others. I've got, what, 20 of them? So, and that's just the normal costume changes. There's other costume changes for my Xenoblade 2 layout. I think I've seen that one. Nice. Well, thank you. Yeah, I've got 20 normal costume changes and more for uh, the Xenoblade layout because I've got um, Xenoblade costume changes for um, all of the the main party members and their blades. So yeah. So 
So, and like here lately, some, some costume changes like to show up more than others. So, but I have it set to, to random. B. So, with a costume change, a random one will appear. So. Come on, get him going, get him going. Like I said, it's not hitting it at the same time, it's keeping the rain going. But also, Wario has to mess up. That's also another key factor to this, and I don't think he's going to. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Oh! Oh! Up! Oh, oh, go! 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 Go get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! Damn it. Damn it, there was a sliver of hope. There was a sliver of hope. Dang it. Oh, I got so excited for a second. I'm like, ah! But no. no. Damn. Damn. Would have been cool, I know. I mean, I've won as a three before. Because, like, we were doing good on the, on the rain and messed up at the right spot. But, dang. Yeah, more often than not, the, the one wins that one. Because the one has to mess up on on their uh, on their skateboard, and more often than not, it's pretty easy not to mess up. So there's that. See, I can roll a one without a special dice block. Look at me go. <laughs> That's just how it is normally. Or like the one time in Mario Party 3 where I rolled three ones on a gold dice block. <laughs> I even like lifted the curse because someone put a curse mushroom on me. Or a poison mushroom, whatever. Thank you for not going for me. They usually just make a beeline for me, but... Thank you for not hitting me, Peach. I think... Turn 30. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna take our break. Because we normally take a break. Uh, about this time if I start at 1, usually 2 p.m., but it's fine. Uh, we're gonna take our break. We're gonna get up, stretch, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, do whatever it is you need to do, and we'll be right back.
Kerbo. And I see the song recommendation. Let's go. Now for song recommendations, what I do is I scroll, you know, I go shuffling in my playlist. And I find a song and then I get recommended lyrics. Let's go. Ooh, okay. I feel like this song is kind of underrated in their discography. Um, it's a song called Fingertip by G-Friend. Uh, let me find you a lyric. Tongue, 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 fingertip. Do, 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 do. It's a great song. It's very funky, but it's very different than a lot of their other songs. So let me find just some lyrics. Uh, do, 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 there we go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, looks like the song is about, you know, kind of chasing after, you know, someone you like. Uh, the chorus, uh, tongue, 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 fingertip, I'll aim for your heart. Uh, so your heart stops, so what I'll come closer by your side, you're on the tip of my finger. Finger, fingertip. Yeah, that's the chorus. So yeah like the song it's so underrated in the grand scheme of their discography but it's pretty good thanks you're welcome and it's g friend like the letter g and then friend that's how it's stylized uh or like their korean name is yojachingu so there you go 
All right. Uh, hello, Jacob. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. And hello, Wicked. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. All right. Uh, G Friend's one of those groups uh, where, like, their early stuff. Not a super big fan of, but like a lot of their like kind of mid to later stuff is what I really like. So, ground control to Major Tom. What about what about Major Tom? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I do really like G Friend, and it's so unfortunate that they disbanded when they did, cause they were like hot, you know. They were doing so good, and then this like immediate disbandment with like. Little to no reasons. Like, what? Why? Like, bro, how could you? But I know three of the members uh, formed another group at another company, and they're doing pretty well. And so, it's still good. Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we're good. This way. Go, uh, this away. And, uh, that away. And all around, away we go. <laughs> all right, it's a good thing a control stick spinning mini game popped up because um, I've got a question for everyone. Because uh, during I think tug of war earlier, because my husband is home, you know it's fine, and he you know was watching me control stick spin, and he was looking at me kind of funny. And like he asked like which way like do you like spin the control stick like counterclockwise? And yes, I do. And he must spin the control stick clockwise. And so I guess that makes us opposites in that regard. So a uh, question, like if you were to spin the control stick like your control stick spinning, which direction do you go? Like what is your like natural direction you go? Clockwise or counterclockwise? I am missing that, yeah. Like when I when I stir, like when I stir something, stir a liquid, I stir counterclockwise, unless I'm like mixing it up. God, I can't get anything worth crap. I've been so used to being in that third slot. Cause like my natural way I, I spin things is counterclockwise. That is my natural. And then like my husband is Clockwise, apparently. <laughs> Some graphics, they enhance. Uh, this is the Switch Online version. So, I would assume. Counterclockwise? Alright. Because, like, I know people are one way or the other. Your husband is weird? Oh, he might say you're weird then. I feel counterclockwise too. Huh. That is kind of... And it, it's really weird because like a lot of people around me are usually like clockwise. I know growing like girl, I say growing up like in school, I've seen people go clockwise. Okay, good. I've seen people go clockwise like more often than not. Like I'm usually the odd one out. So I mean, it's just a just a question. Cause I know people are different in that regard. I mean, it's no news that I am weird. <laughs> That's fair enough. We are all weird, you know. I don't really feel I have an overall preference though, just what I feel inclined to do in the moment. I've done both. Gotcha. Gotcha. And like, one way feels natural, the other way, you know, not so much. I think, um, maybe like my natural is to turn inward. Cause like, doing the, the Bowser fight in Mario 64, you know, you gotta have to like, rotate the control stick, I think. Um, to kinda get the rotations going. Um, I think with like my left thumb, like if I were to just do it with my thumb and my left thumb, I would go clockwise. Uh, I have three moves. That's gonna close on her next turn. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to tell it no. Uh, so I think it's just my natural rotation is just like more inward. If I use like both my hands. So I, I'd say inward, which is with my right hand, my dominant hand, counterclockwise. Unless it tells me to rotate clockwise, I'll more often than not, not more often than not go counter. Yeah. 
like just rotating a control stick for a Mario Party game, counterclockwise. And if I'm stirring something, counterclockwise. Uh, no, that needs to be squished in. No, not squished in. It's there. And then boop. And boop. And then boop. And... I think that looks fine. Those don't need to. I think I need this scooch. I might have squished it in too much. Or just enough! 97, let's go! 97. Um, if I have to tap two buttons back and forth really fast, I also do it in different ways depending on how I feel. Yeah, it's like one of those, like, whatever feels the most natural to you. Like, my fingers are so weird, so if I have to, like, mash two buttons at the same time, I have to, like, hold the controller weirdly. <laughs> Because there is like a half inch difference um, of my my index finger, my middle finger. <laughs> All right. All right, so also when I spin the control stick, I use my palm. I don't know if that's weird. Everyone uses their palm. I know the warnings say do not use your palm. But, uh, I use, like, the upper part. My husband uses, like, the lower part of his hand. Kind of like the, the heel of his hand. That's what he does. Um, yeah, I use, like, the upper part. Kind of where my, my fingers are. But, like, yeah, everyone uses their palm. <laughs> so don't feel bad, even though there's, like, several warnings saying not to. And it's Bowser Bash and Cash. After... It'll have to be my turn. After this, so... Let's Bowser bash and, bash and Cash. I have to participate. It's not, you know, normal Bash and Cash where I can just run around and collect money. We just have to make DK lose. Boom. It's not very often I, I, I am bad at Bash and Cash. I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad. No, don't jump on me. That's my strategy. That is my strategy. Although I did skim through, you know, the Mario Party. Uh, Minigame Island speed run and the strat they used for Bash and Cash to not get hit was probably a strategy I should be doing the whole time. Or maybe it wouldn't work as hard AI, but I don't know. Because I don't know what level the AI is for Minigame Island. I want to say like normal. Because it, it, there's no set difficulty for it. So, probably after. Well, you're done. Uh, something... Okay, that's pretty fast, so I'll do this minigame, and then I will go up to uh, put away Riley's stuff, and then we'll I'll do a quick BRB while everyone else is taking their turn, so... There we go. Uh, don't tell me how to live my life warnings. <laughs> Didn't even know there are warnings. Does it damage your hand, the controller? So, the backstory is the OG Mario Party on the N64. Um, the way the N64 controllers are, they have hard, very hard plastic control sticks. And most people would spin the control stick with their palm. And if you do it too much, you get blisters, you get calluses, bruises, you can cut up your hand pretty good doing that. And there was a lawsuit in North America, to Nintendo of North America, um, and whoever, you know, the kids affected, or like, you know, the people affected, they received gloves to wear to control stick spin. So because of that, they gotta issue a warning, you know, about using your palm, because it could damage your hand. Even with the um, pro controller, I have gotten bruises on my hand from control stick spinning. It's rough. So, uh, there's a little backstory there. So, I will, uh, BRB real quick. Enjoy the turns.
They took their turns a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, uh, boom. Uh, ooh, I can steal a star. Let's see what my options are. Ooh, okay, DK's literally right there. Or... Well, I'd have to steal more than six coins to stop him. But if I also... Or Peach is also right there, too, but she doesn't have enough. Um, but also, if I steal DK Star, he would waste his money trying to steal mine back, so... Well, screw it. Screw it! <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Why is it so interesting? I love this stuff. I had no idea about the history. Yeah! Yep, we never got the gloves because me and my sister uh, figured out um, lotion was the easiest way to, to soothe our hands. I'm the 20th person. Well, thank you. Ow. Ooh. My shoulder twitched a little bit and it hurt. It does that sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to go down. Or, yeah, I need to go down. Hello, Pesky! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Hope you're having a good day! I was gonna say, I hear literally no turns taken. I realize they take them at lightning speed. Yeah, apparently! Yeah, they did. Uh, ooh, running on the bulb again. Um, again. I mentioned I saw a speed run and, like, the, the thing they did for running of the bulb, but I have to have the bulb first to actually try and do it. But also, hard AI, I don't know how they would react. Because the AI for Minigame Island and the AI for, uh, you know, hard AI and all that is, is different. Yeah, Luigi, punch the ghost. This is where it all started. This is how Luigi's Mansion got started. Also, uh, June. June, I forget the, the exact date, but June for um, uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the Switch. Ah, uh, yes, the perfect way to, to get someone to snap out of it from being possessed by a ghost is to punch them. I mean, a hard smack will snap somebody out of anything, I'm sure. <laughs> There's our question of the day. What's a movie you rewatch every so often? Again, I only asked that because we rewatched uh, High School Musical, me and my husband, last night. Great movie. Iconic. So iconic. Oh, good day so far. Just got streaming some Marvel Superstars. Let's go. Let's go, lovin'. I made some spicy ramen before work. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. And spicy fireworks scorching. Ooh. Spicy fireworks scorching sesame shrimp flavor. I feel like I might know specifically maybe and it's kind of funny because me and my husband were talking about the hot and spicy ramen um that he eats and um surprise no it's fine um um and like he wasn't really a fan of like the the like the hot shrimp he likes the chicken he likes most anything like the chicken flavor ramen, hot and spicy. Ha! Um. And like, yeah, he, you know, the the chicken. Like he mentioned, like you know, uh, anything like chicken. Oh, DK, please. Damn. This is fine. This is not fine. <laughs> well. Um. Yeah, he likes anything like the chicken and like just kind of like the, the beef and like the shrimp for like his, the ramen that he usually gets is, you know, not quite as good, you know, but like he, chicken, it's a, it's a good go-to flavor. Um, let's see, question is Shawshank Redemption? I've seen it once and I fell asleep through it, but it was also years ago. I'm sure if we watched it now, I could stay awake through it. I think at the time I was just like really tired. <laughs> the goat, Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, Clancy Brown. Like, can you get any better? Yeah. Chicken one's the best. Molten chili chicken ones. Yes, that those are the ones that he likes. Like he he he's gotten like the the little cups of ramen, you know, because it's a it's a good like little. Um. It's just like a a good thing for him. Like he um gets a couple of them. You know, not really like a, a meal, but something to kind of hold him over and just kind of 
fill the hole, per se, but he does like the, the molten chili chicken ones. He really likes those. Even though he hasn't really had them in a while, because, like, he used to eat them, like, all the time. Like, every week for lunch. 99?! Oh, dang, I must have done good. Yeah. Yeah, we, we still have, like, the molten chili chicken, but, like, he likes those a lot. And, uh, I know the last few times he's had it, um, he's gotten, uh, Bachan's, uh, barbecue sauce. He really likes adding that to it. So. Yeah. And, like, the, the hot and spicy, you know, barbecue sauce. He, he really likes it. The hydrate! Thank you for the hydrate seafood! Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Mario movie? Not the first movie. <laughs> Let me try barbecue sauce next time! Yep, yeah, uh, Bachans. Yep, saw that one coming. If I wanted to swap with DK when I had the warp block. Oh, oh, it's fine. Hydrate or dihydrate? I hydrated. Let's go. That's it, I'm getting ramen BRB! <laughs> All this talk about ramen. <laughs> Hot and spicy is the only way to have barbecue sauce. Fair enough. Again, I am the picky eater, so... <laughs> I am the picky eater, so uh, I would not know. But I do know what my husband eats, so there we go. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, all the talk about ramen, all the talk about pizza earlier. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what my supper is. Why was I looking at Wario to start? What am I doing? I never play, I hardly ever play as Wario. Like, why was I doing that? I mean, granted, the very first minigame I was looking right at Peach. So, I don't know, man, what's going on with me? I don't know what's happening. Eh. You know, fine, we will go. I- Wow! That was so delayed! Cause I hit the button before I crossed the rope. Wow. There is such a delay on the shots. Um... Let's see, I also know the entire script of Toy Story? And Shrek by heart- Oh my god, Shrek. I wanna watch- I wanna rewatch, uh, Shrek 1 and 2. I want to rewatch this because, like, Shrek is really good, and Shrek 2 is, like, the best sequel in, uh, to anything in history. So, but yeah, Toy Story, I honestly like the second Toy Story better than the first, and my husband is the opposite. Probably because whichever one we grew up watching the most. I think that kind of plays into the nostalgia, please! Emotional damage! time really <laughs> hello hello welcome in hope you're having a good time wow wow so many things were so perfect all at once <laughs> oh that was great <laughs> Ah. <laughs> That's what 
all these flags are saying. <laughs> About to hit the wrong button. Boop. B for boop. <laughs> oh. Now, don't ever apologize for something funny that I'm happens to me. I'm a mess, 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 Like everything is being redeemed. It's because it is. I'm not mad. Oh, I wanted a three so bad. Of course, I don't have enough money to steal a star. Of course, I don't. Oof. Ah. Uh, well, I can at least steal your money. That's about all I could do. At least I'm not a target for star stealing anymore. So I guess there's that. <laughs> Eight ball, what is this madness? Negative three out of ten would not recommend. <laughs> Honestly, that was the perfect response. Good. I just wanna feel the damn it. <laughs> oh, everything is just so perfect right now. Perfect. There we go. Finish. <laughs> Eight ball still blazing, bruh. Reply Hazy, try again. Yep. High as a kite like usual. Eight ball's on fire today. It is. <laughs> Everything's on fire right now. Everything's on fire. Don't worry, I'm not scared. I'll say follow Harrow with the tastiest rums I can spit. And I'll watch and learn, Navi. <laughs> eight ball, add you nice? Negative three out of ten would not Man, eight ball is not a carrot. Eight ball is not a 17 stan. Eight ball is not very add nice right now. Eight ball is not very agi nice right now, and you know who else is not very agi nice? Peach. See, I told you Karma would come back and kick you in the butt. I told you, did I not? Yeah, yeah you did, Peach. You did. I remember earlier. <sighs> Thanks for the clip. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, at least she doesn't have enough to steal a star. At least. Okay. Okay. <laughs> More or less, just <laughs> blood's on fire. Not that you nice. Is they pull a hipster? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it is a bit of a spoil. <laughs> You know, it, even in the moment, everything was just hilarious. Had to clip it. I appreciate that. Like, any kind of funny moment, you know, anything. Clip it. I don't care. Do it. Because, like, every now and then I go through my own clips. Just to kind of, like, almost, like, reminisce all, like, the funny stuff that has happened. <laughs> And like what clips there are, so that's how I like remember uh, some stuff. Okay, star is up there. I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. This way. This way. Away we go. Boom shakalaka. That was a beautiful clip. <laughs> and I always go back in and watch the clips after stream. You know, it, it was a beautiful moment. Enter to popular belief, cannibals would always answer. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you say that as a, I have played until dawn on stream with the Wendigos 
and cannibalism. Huh. So I did uh, two runs of Until Dawn. I tried a challenge run um, once and I failed the challenge, but I went back and just made everyone live. And then uh, the second run, we hit a sub goal um, during my affiliate anniversary stream and it was an everyone dies run where I killed everyone in Until Dawn. I'm surprised that didn't touch me. Mine. You were staring at it way too long, DK. It's mine now. You lost your chance. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> what am I, two? <laughs> yeah, unless you're an until dawn, yeah. Cause I, I did a I did an everyone dies run and oh man, it was painful to, to kill everyone, but it was kind of fun. At the same time. <sighs> Huh, cannibalism would fix both overpopulation and world hunger. God, that sounds so morbid. That sounds so morbid. How better would you be than a zombie? I mean, that's fair. Hello, Frost. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, too tragic. Yes. All right, please. All right, good. What's up, Bowser? How's it going? I haven't seen you in a minute. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Um, something good, please. That could be good or bad, depending on... Zombies gotta eat, too! I mean, I guess so. Uh... Alright. Not who I wanted, but I'm not mad because it's not me. <laughs> Just wanted anyone but me. It's almost time, Tessa. It's almost time for what? Are you hyped? What am I hyped for? <laughs> I've watched clips to ramen. <laughs> oh, with all the talks about ramen. Ooh. <laughs> I'm hyped for no reason. That's a good reason to be hyped. Oh, Marshmallow Madness, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is this Sunday. I am pretty excited for it. I'm very excited. All right, uh, who has the most money? DK does. Well, I have a vendetta. I didn't grab very well. I whisked her away and stole her finances. <laughs> I mean, I probably would have gotten a couple of coins more if I stole from DK, but it's whatever. 20 coins. I'll take it. Take it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for the, the Marshmallow Madness race against uh, Bradley Rose. I'm super excited. I'm getting hyped. He's working really hard for for his run, and I'm, I'm excited. I am so excited. I haven't touched Ocarina Time since Monday. <laughs> Since my my practice stream, so, but probably I might poke my head in and just kind of practice my my basement skip, just to make sure I still got it, at the very least. So, but yeah, I'm excited, looking forward to it, and uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I have my hand on the emotional damage button just in case that chance I went south yet again. <laughs> oh man, yup, yup. Ah, uh, finance fantasy. <laughs> Don't breach the peach. Nope. But I happens. Uh, I've been wishing for it since the beginning. Huh. I mean, if there is a tie at the very end of the game. <laughs> oh no, that belly! Poor Wario! Couldn't, couldn't quite go low enough. Uh, he did not have the apple bottom jeans, nor the boots with the fur. The whole club was not looking at her. She did not hit the floor. She did not hit the floor. Next thing you know, Wario did not go low, 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 low. <laughs> yeah, if a die happens, like at the end of the game, dice block happens. And it is up to chance. Ooh. Bull 
bullet dodged? Or... Or what? Um, right now things are not looking good for me because Peach has six stars. That's not good. I am probably going to lose, of course, right as I mention it. <laughs> Unless I do land on a chance time and or steal stars. What do you mean I... Fine. I'm just gonna punch. Oh, dang it. That was my chance. No! I, I broke it with my butt. Dang, Vegeta. I mean, Vegeta is one to tell it like it is. And I am also well aware of this fact. Because look at my hard work. My hard work is going to someone else. But also, I was the one that was um, preaching yesterday. Like, look at all the hard work everyone else is doing. And I'm taking the credit. Yeah, what goes around comes around. Bitch. Bitch! <laughs> Stealing my finances? Stealing my money? Bitch, please! <laughs> Garbage, she has to deal with it. She lives with me. I do. Vegito cutting a rock from a- He did get the rock theme when he hit the wrestler roulette. So, I think that should be the telltale sign. Unfortunately, this isn't Mario Party 7. Nope. It is not. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh boy! Well... I don't think I can really match up a trade stars, but I think I can do something else. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Give me your star! I got a little loud, I apologize. <laughs> His one and only star. We need to band together and take down Peach. We are staging a coup. The Mushroom Kingdom needs Peach no longer. She is gone power mad. <laughs> I'm the real final boss. He is. He really is. I mean, we are Tessa Crybabies! <laughs> oh, I love it. So many game of two stars on the line. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, this is this is very Mario 5. Oops. <laughs> Frost attempts to take down the final boss, Vegito. Vegito roundhouse kicks Frost and retains his title in decisive fashion. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we. I mean, he is also the current fridge match champion. So there is that too. Ta da! I did it. I'd love to see Vegito do the people's elbow! <laughs> I mean, he would do a fantastic people's elbow, but... But, uh, yeah, not right now, because, uh... Some were here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Blueberry! Hello, hello, welcome in! Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the hydrate. And the da 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 It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Um... Yeah, some were here yesterday, some were not. Uh, TLDR, um, Tuesday afternoon, um, Vegito, <laughs> uh, was in a wreck. He was in a wreck on Tuesday. He's fine, he is home, he is I safe. Yeah, Randy Orton in the house. Oh, love Randy. Love Randy. Coming out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, Vegito was in a wreck on Tuesday. Again, he is home. He is safe. Still feeling pretty sore. Still a little bruised up here and there. But overall, he's, he's fine. 
But uh, yeah, because Tuesday, uh, I took down the VOD because it was only like 20 minutes. Yeah, like 20 minutes in the stream, I get a phone call from him saying, you know, he wrecked his truck. Uh, <laughs> so stream just ended there. So yeah, but everything's fine. He is home safe. That's what matters. The only real, like, quote-unquote casualty other than the truck itself was, um, his AirPods. And what's, like, a couple hundred dollars for AirPods when he is alive? I'd rather have him alive than AirPods, honestly. So. Uh, yeah, the Victory Team is gonna taste a lot different yesterday considering the events that transpired earlier. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's why, yeah. Yeah. So I, I explained a little bit more uh, in depth yesterday, but, um, oh, he got a late start. Oh, trip on something, DK, please. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the TLDR. Um, but yeah, he's home, he's safe. He, you know, still a little sore, but he's safe. That's what matters. It's the only thing that matters, but hey, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. So that's why he is home. He is recovering right now, so. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh no, we're not getting him. We're not doing it. I'm just gonna. Yeah, no. No. It's like, so he gets as much time to rest as possible. Yes. Definitely. Rest is definitely important. Oh, Vegito hugs. I mean, you can probably hug him. He can't really hug back because his shoulder, uh, his right shoulder, because uh, he he landed on it <laughs> uh, during the wreck and it's been bugging him for a little bit. So he probably can't hug back. Jeez, Peach is just on a rampage. We need to stop her. She needs to be stopped. Oh, no. <laughs> I was wondering why... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tuesday was just- it doesn't exist. Tuesday doesn't exist. <laughs> so, yeah. Still people's elbow. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure- would you use if you could? Hmm. Yes, Vegeta was safe. Um. I mean, there's lots of cool finishers, you know? I don't even- you know, I don't know. What kinds of finishers I would use. I don't even know what Vegeta would use. I mean, there have been a couple of times where, like, we would be, like, messing around, you know, actually, like, wrestling, like, in the living room. And I have put him in an arm bar a couple of times. <laughs> so maybe that could be my finisher. I don't know. Yeah, again, I'm not the prime target for star stealing. It's Peach now. Sweet chin music? Oh, classic. Classic. Beautiful. Love it. Huh. Alright, yeah, we need to we need to band together. And uh, take out Peach. Again, we are staging a coup. <laughs> she has gone power mad. <laughs> she needs to be stopped. She needs to be stopped. That chance time, man. That chance time was rough. Oh. She knew exactly what she was doing. I think they love how the frog splash like RVD because nobody gets higher than him! <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? Jared only be spitting facts. <laughs> I would have. I don't know. I've really thought about it. I know in my wrestling fanfiction um, that I wrote about a year ago, I think we read it like in June, but I started writing it kind of in April. Um, uh, the main character, uh, her finisher was a springboard DDT. And then in like the, the climax of the story, it turned into like a, a corkscrew moonsault into a DDT. And I think that would look kind of sick in real life. So uh, that'd be kind of fun, even though I'm not much for like flips and stuff. Uh, 
I need to make it to Boo, please. Yeah, I desperately need to get to Boo and to, to stop Peach. Because I... I'm not going to say it out loud, because if I say it out loud, it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. But I... I've got a plan, kind of. Kind of. Uh, okay. Alright. I love when the conversation just gets awkward and I can just leave and no one can blame me. Oh, I feel that. I love how he just like, oh, again? Bruh. Bitches. Bitches, I'm not the one that needs to be targeted. It's Peach. Look at her. She's on a rampage. We have to stage our coup. Come on, guys. Am I alone in my efforts to stage this coup? Fine. Jeez. Rude. I'm gonna say it. This flavor is kind of meh. Prefer my molten chicken. That's what Vegito thinks, too. He wasn't a big friend. Big fr <sighs> He wasn't a big fan of the shrimp. There. There we go. I said it. I said it clearly. <sighs> hey, Ball, does anyone get higher than RVT? Defiantly. Defiantly. Yeah. Love how Ray Mysterio and RVT's tag finisher was called 420. Love it. Oh, no. That's great. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> makes things so easy. It really does. I wish it was Japanese version so I can hear Luigi say, oh my god. Yeah. And hear Wario say, yes. But I don't have Japanese versions of the game. Unfortunately, I don't. I know you gotta have like a, a thing to play Japanese carts on a North American console or something. I don't remember. Uh... Maybe one day, maybe one day if I have the proper equipment, I can stream like OG Mario Party on OG hardware and really give myself a death sentence with the control stick spinning. <laughs> Cause I mean, I love the N64. I grew up with it. Uh, N64 and GameCube, I grew up with. So, I mean, I would love to, you know. <laughs> but also, yeah, I'd be really crazy to do 50 turns. OG Mario Party, OG hardware, control stick spinning, let's go. Okay. Alright. Now she's not completely untouchable. Stars. Peach. <laughs> that would be awesome. It would be like, once I get, like, you know, proper equipment and stuff. All right, now she is not completely untouchable. So. So. Oh man, this is intense. <laughs> 50 turn speed run. <laughs> 50 turn speed run, oh boy, that'd be, that'd be kind of fun. Isn't, I mean, it's not really essentially what I do, because I, I do spend a lot of time just kind of stopping and talking <laughs> during the 50 turns, but it's fine. Oh, arrow pointing this way. Where are we going? Right here! Had to go up and then... <laughs> Didn't, you know, nothing like a little just go straight and then... <laughs> And yes, the sound effects are necessary to get my point across of what I'm trying to describe. 100% necessary. She's the queen of Mario Party, so she can do it, no sweat. I mean, yeah, I was talking earlier about, like, uh, Mario Party speedruns and stuff, because there's, like, um, I feel like if I were to seriously take up a, a speedrun category and learn to speedrun a game, it probably would be Mario Party 1 Minigame Island. Because there's no real, like super complicated um, tricks and clips and skips and stuff. It's just straightforward mini games. That's it. Uh, okay, so we need to go up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Four. 
No, I think the less complicated option is to just do this and hope for the best on my next roll. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, there's two categories for uh, minigame island. There's any percent and 100%, which is just... Because uh, there is a split pathway in minigame island, and uh, any percent just going through one or one of the other path, and 100% just doing all of the minigames. All 50 of them. Ready? So, I, I mean, I think it'd be really fun to to try it. Because, like, for um, the category, like, for the, the platform on the Switch, um, there's really not very many um, entries for specifically the Switch version. So, and I did kind of blast through Minigame Island um, um, sometime, like, months ago. <laughs> Maybe over a year ago at this point. Um, and it, I, it took me less than an hour just to do all of it. And, like, the record for 100% is 43 minutes, 43 seconds. So, and I could do it in, like, less than an hour. So I think it'd be kind of fun to actually do it. So, Mario Party 5 speed run. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Standard last five turns. Procedures all red and blue spaces are doubled. And if you pass by Koopa Trippy, you get 20 coins instead of 10. I about botched it yesterday, but I got it this time. Mario Party 5 speedrun Peach only blindfold. Let's go. No. <laughs> we don't talk about Mario Party 5. <laughs> we don't talk about Mario Party 5. No, nope, we don't. We do not. <laughs> you can only hydrate with plain water. No! Not that. I don't like the taste of plain water. Ooh. Oh. That's actually bad. Yeah, that's actually bad. Oof. Thanks, game. I need, like, a one, two, or three. Well, now I'm here for the rest of my life, I guess. Vaporeon, yep. If you ruin Vaporeon, you'll be timed out. No excuses. Yep, no excuses. And it stemmed from um, me using Vaporeon in Pokemon XD. And I was so deathly afraid of someone just completely random coming in hot into chat and just immediately like, Did you know about Vaporeon? Like, I was so deathly afraid of that. So that's why I implemented the command. Wow, that was awful. What's this boo doing? Oh, I'm not even on the line, bro. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I got 97. What? Okay. Yeah, I just with the time it was and everything, like I was so afraid of someone coming in hot and just ruining Vaporeon right out the gate. So I was like so scared to death. Luckily that never happened. But I didn't want to find out if someone was going to. <laughs> Cause I mean some people come in hot in chat with like the weirdest things. I've seen it in my chat a couple of times. I've seen it in other people's chat a few times. Like, people can be so weird sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, Peach is not untouchable anymore. She is not untouchable. So, th this coup is working. <laughs> the coup is working. <laughs> I'm weird. You know what? So am I. I would have laughed so hard if that was a three. Oh, am I gonna be stuck here forever? I might be. I, I do remember one time, I think it was on stream, actually, I did Luigi's Engine Room, and I was just stuck in this loop, like, for over half of the board. You should do my Prey 5 Spirit? No! I don't want to play. I don't think my disc will let me. Or maybe the speedrun is, um, a uh, disc error percent. <laughs> How fast can I get a disc read error? <laughs> That'd be a Mario Party 5 speedrun I could do. Like, 
how fast can I make the game crash? Because <laughs> uh, my my disc is not in the greatest of shapes. Hence why it's cursed. And we don't talk about it. <laughs> oh, come on. Hit her! I don't condone violence in any way, but only in video games. You should do it anyway. No! No! Uh, one time someone came into a chat I was in and they kept saying things like, I bet you're the type of guy who insert this typical nerdy or weeb thing. But I said it in a negative way and it was getting really annoying because they were also always wrong. Dang. People like that can be very annoying. Unfollow. You said that on what, Monday? <laughs> When you told me it was user error on the targeting for Ocarina of Time. Unfollow. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Blocked. Banned. <laughs> Felt so bad for the streamer. He was just chilling. Yeah, and like, the people who suffer the most from all that is the streamer. Because like, you don't know how it's gonna affect them off the stream. You know, I do remember one time this was during a Xenoblade stream. It was like towards the end of it and I banned someone for just being absolutely rude and just not reading the room. And they were just saying some like weird things too. Like they came in with like really weird statements and uh, like towards the end I go over the you know, schedule of the week and um, this was before I started Final Fantasy VII Remake and I was really hyped for it. Like I was super excited to, to start it. And I was saying like, I'm super excited. I'm so hyped like for this new game we're playing because I never officially announced it. And they're like, if you have to hype it up, it's not that exciting. And I deleted the comment, like, immediately. Because, like, and they're like, I was just joking. I'm like, no, the joke didn't land. Sorry. And then, like, right at the end, because I, I mentioned, like, I was kind of hinting at Final Fantasy. And I mentioned, like, yeah, if you've been, you know, if you've been here for a while, uh, you would know that I've played a game in this series before, which is Final Fantasy X. And it was, like, a year ago when I played Final Fantasy X. And they're like, you know, uh, they were just making like rude comment. They made a rude comment about that. It's like, you know, if you've been here long enough, like, they're just mocking me generally. Just felt like it. I'm like, you know what? I ain't dealing with this. So I just straight up banned them. It's like, I don't want to deal with you. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I just not going to deal with you. Yep, I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of my life. Banning, you say? <laughs> Eight ball is Vegito909 the MVP of every stream? Are you joking? He is. He is the MVP. 100% the MVP. Was it pesky getting banned again by Vegito? He did get timed out. He got timed out. And it was really funny. <laughs> Banning shouldn't be so frowned upon if someone is making the mood mellow. Then F, because they suck. Yeah. And like, there are some things where it's like clearly a joke and clearly fun banter, like what happened with Pesky that one day in chat. It was it was really funny and like it was clearly a joke. It was clearly a joke, but then some people just come in and are just not great. And like I used to kind of not do anything about it because like I was like so worried and like I didn't know what to do. You know, but like now it's like I am more comfortable with like, I don't like you. And Vegito is my husband, so like he knows me better than myself sometimes, so he knows what can be allowed and what's not allowed, so. Me? Banned in a Tessa stream? I'm a good boy, so <laughs> that would never happen. The time, time out zone, I still remember that day. It was hilarious. But yeah, like some people can just be not great and not read the room. And like, I tend to like, you know, like, I'm a baseball person, so it's like three strikes and you're out. I'll set the screen. Go! I, the screen is set! Go, Peach! What are you doing? Give me that. See? See? What? Forgot. <laughs> My husband's work boots sit, like, kind of right here, right next to me. And I, like... I moved my arm and I hit the boot. I'm like, what, what the heck happened? No, it was just me hitting a boot. <laughs> It was really funny. I'm glad Vegito did that. 
Wasn't it an accident? Um, the first one was because he accidentally said it for like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> and then, because he meant to do just one minute. But he accidentally said it to 10 minutes and undid it. And then later, it was one minute, so. <laughs> it was great, it was really funny. But yeah, that's if someone's, you know, been in the community long enough to, to know, to, you know, joke around and all that. But yeah, some people I've seen are just not great. There was someone six months ago, seven months ago, um, that was in my chat and they just made me uncomfortable. <laughs> And if I knew, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I would have banned them, like, straight up in the beginning. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so if someone makes me uncomfortable, I am going to do something about it right away. Or just bots, you know. I haven't seen them too often, but, uh, yeah. They come in every so often. That 10 minutes was enough to think about my life choices. <laughs> it was just enough. There. Here's <laughs> a question of the day. What's a movie you rewatch every so often? I mean, High School Musical. I mean, also me and my husband uh, watch the, the Dragon Ball movies every so often. I know we rewatched uh, Super Broly a year ago, a few months ago, or something. So, like, we watch those very often. Would you like another? <laughs> oh boy. I think I got banned from a chat asking what mayonnaise was since I didn't- Wow! Wow! I mean, may- I- What exactly is mayo? I don't know if I can really explain it. I know it can go on sandwiches. <laughs> so I don't even know what exactly it is. Um, I- I think I'm good. <laughs> yep. Yep, as long as you're good. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Also, I saw in the speed run they would hit the corners. Okay. Oh, that was not the corner. That was the corner, though. Nice. Alright. Oh, uh, crap. Was it red here? Yes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Go for it. Bowser, my main man! Hi, how you doing? I got redemption for last time, though. Because I, I missed the last pair last time, so... We're good! Miracle Whip. Yes. Even though, technically, isn't Miracle Whip not mayo? Technically? It's technically not mayo. Because it is different. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't eat the stuff. <laughs> I do not eat the stuff, so I would not know. Is it an instrument? Is mayonnaise an instrument? I mean, I've seen... I've seen people make mayonnaise an instrument. Who is it? It's DK, okay. Mayonnaise is made from oil, egg yolk, and either vinegar or lemon juice. Vegito's got it. He's got the knowledge. He probably Googled it. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with Googling things, though. Hey, Paul, is mayonnaise an instrument? Defiantly, yes. <laughs> mayonnaise is defiantly an instrument. I mean, really, you can make anything an instrument. Honestly. Um, isn't there uh, an Aerosmith song that they use, like, a sugar packet instead of maracas? So, yeah, you can make, like, an instrument out of anything, and I think that's pretty cool. <gasps> Is Miracle Whip Mayo? Signs point to yes. Hmm. Fair enough. I think we're still on a little bit of a cooldown, because I think there's a cooldown on the 8 ball. But I, I would say My Prey 3 is a is an instrument. Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith, thank you. I knew there was an Aerosmith song, because I know he talked about it and played it a couple times. 8 ball knows all. I guess it does. Oh, 
this is the last turn. All right, big money, no whammy, stop. I escape. I'm not making it to Boo, though. <laughs> but I escaped. Blue space. Uh, a ball, is Mario Party 5 an instrument? Yes! The sound of the disc breaking could make a great sound, probably. <laughs> of me throwing it against the wall. <laughs> when not high. All right, let's go. We And again, like, my problems with Mario Party 5 are not, like, everything is bad about it. Because I like the minigames, and minigames are fun in Mario Party 5. It's the boards I don't like. Finish. I don't like the boards in Mario Party 5. And I think a lot of it is, like, the design and the music for the boards. It's just so boring and... Like, I, I can't tell what board the music is from if I just listen to the music. I have no idea. So, I would not know. But I could play minigame mode all day long in Mario Party 5. But, like, the boards? I That's where I struggle. Mario Party 5. <laughs> yes, my favorite thing about 5 is the card party. And, like, the the the, the side mode with, like, the, the mechs and stuff. That's really fun. That's really fun. I enjoy that a lot. All right, big money, no whammy. Yes! Now, this is what I wanted to mention earlier about when Peach was going on her rampage and trying to make her not untouchable anymore. Um, is I had a very strong feeling I was going to sweep the bonus star, so I knew I had coin. I more than likely had minigame, and I more than likely had happening star. So, but I didn't want to say it out loud, because if I said it out loud, I was not going to sweep. So, the dual mode, yes! It's so fun! But again, like, the boards, the main bread and butter, the meat and potatoes of it all, I don't like in Mario Party 5. So, that's just me. Plus, we gotta have Luigi winning Luigi's engine room. Of course we do. Look at us! And it's an engine room to, to a boat. Are we going on Rainbow Ride in Mario 64? Oh no, Wario! <laughs> Wario did help a little bit in my, in my staging of the coup. Don't push Luigi off the boat. I'm a dentist? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> but Luigi did it. We are not pushing him off the edge. No, Pushes past Kim! <laughs> oh, goodness. But we did hear a doe I missed. That's glorious. Uh, mini games 322. Ooh, 322? That is tomorrow's date. It's also my mother in law's birthday, and it's also the date that Princess Peach so Showtime comes out. Mostly my mother-in-law's birthday, though. <laughs> uh, most 124 is most I held at once, which is good. Uh, ooh, she almost got me there. She almost got me there. Um, but it would not have mattered because I ended up with more coins at the end anyway. So, I did it. I won. One, two, three, four minigames. Let's go. Or one player. Ah, uh, chance time. Only two chance times. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> Land on your butt, Pasky. Do a ground pound. <laughs> it's not do a flip. It's do a ground pound. <laughs> that should get you to safety faster. Is that how that works? <laughs> All right. But yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Even despite that chance time. Despite that chance time. Uh, now I'm just trying to save up coins to, like, buy all the minigames in, like, the minigame mode. Ooh, double! Let's go! Thank you, Johnny! Thank you! Deserved! Deserved! I love that Barrett voice clip. I love it so much. It's so good! Aim for the pipe! <laughs> Do it! But now we have the Luigi winning title screen. Wario just getting squished by the machinery. That's just rough. But, um, uh, 
Yeah, I think that'll do it. Luigi G. Yes. Does a ground pound before landing on the ground to take no damage. Let's go. You know, it's kind of thinking about like Mario 64 and stuff, you know, with Marshmallow and Madness. Um, yeah, that is uh, on Sunday at 7 p.m. Central over on Ultra Melon's channel. So let me. My laptop will let me. Or if Vegito beats me to it, I don't know. I don't even know what he's doing right now. Ultra Melon. We're not following Ultra Melon. What are you doing? Uh, they are hosting a. It was a month long event um, for prelims, uh, 1v1 Ocarina of Time races, and the last preliminary round is on Sunday with myself versus Bradley Rose uh, in Ocarina Time race, race to the Master Sword. Uh, and then the second round is in Mario 64, race to the second Bowser fight. So 31 stars. So, and that'll be fun. And then the two finalists from that will move on to one final Ocarina of Time race to the end point of the racers choosing. Like, they can just race through the whole game. I don't know. Or they can race to the Master Sword again, or they can just do whatever. Everyone should follow Ultramelon. Yes, Ultramelon are awesome. They are great. I do remember the first time going into their stream came in with a raid and they were playing ocarina of time or alicia was playing ocarina of time for the very first time and we saw the end of that and it was it was something to behold it was great it was a fun time and you know i've kind of stuck together ever since but yeah um yeah my race is on sunday versus bradley rose i'm super excited for it um it's gonna be great so that is this sunday at 7 p.m central i will post notifications and stuff probably on twitter and discord uh when that goes live um but in the schedule for the rest of the week uh tomorrow probably go back to final fantasy 7 remake uh getting towards the end of the game doing some side questing um Kind of before the last, like, real big plot point of the game. So, there's that. Probably do the DLC uh, with Yuffie um, after beating Remake. And I I've heard it's really short, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but then after that, there's going to be a buffer game. Shouldn't take too long. And then after that will be Remake. So, I'm excited. I'm also playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I'm taking a short hiatus from it just to kind of do some off-stream uh, grinding and such. Uh, probably come back to that before too long. Maybe, I don't know. It's whatever I decide. And then Mario Party is typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, uh, Mondays would be Xenoblade days. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are Mario Party days. And Wednesdays and Fridays are Final Fantasy VII days. We all love Ultramelon. Fart Factory destroyed because of Jared. What? What happened? Goodness, you guys. Really? <laughs> uh, but also, let me get another shout out going, maybe. Will it let me? If I can tie properly, it'd be great. I believe that is. And there's Bradley Rose, my competitor. Uh, he streams very late at night, my time, but his streams are super chill. It's a fun time. He play. I know he's been playing Final Fantasy, uh, some of the early Final Fantasy games. He does Pokemon Nuzlocke. He's been doing all kinds of fun stuff here and there. And overall, he's a he's a good person. He's a good guy. And his streams are super chill. Love his energy. So if you're not following Bradley Rose, go ahead and give him a follow. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure Bradley got that shout out as well. Because he deserves it. And uh, yeah, the finalists so far for uh, Mari... For that won their 1v1 Ocarina races are, and are moving on to Mario 64 are Matt of Ultramelon, uh, Alicia of Ultramelon, and Natoid, um, who beat Russell in a, in a crazy, crazy race. I have no idea if me and Bradley can top that. I really have no idea. But I think it'll be fun regardless. Uh, 
So yeah, and then those three plus me or Bradley for Mario 64, and then in a final 1v1 Ocarina. Like, if I do make it to Mario 64, there's no way I'm making it to the finals. There's no way. There's, there's zero way. <laughs> shame for shame. But yeah, if you're not following, if you're not following Bradley, go ahead and give him a follow. And no, Twitch app, I don't want to update right now. And, uh, let's see, who... I do know of someone that goes live, that usually goes live in a couple of minutes, and I'm going to double check if they are still good to go. Because <laughs> I am also slightly stalling for time. So far, so good. Yep, okay. So I am just going to <laughs> uh, stall for a couple of minutes. <laughs> So, hi! How's it going? I am also following you, Pesky. I am also following you. Little old me? Of course. Of course. Uh, so yeah. I mean, even if I don't win the Ocarina 1v1 races, I'm not saying, like, Mario 64 is not out of the picture to, like, for me to just kind of play around with and try to beat one day, because, like, I've never beaten Mario 64. I never played it as a kid. <laughs> I just don't play platformers. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of platformers. But I think it'd be, um... I think it'd be really fun just to kind of play through the game for the very first time, you know? Uh, because it's been kind of fun trying to figure out routes and stuff. Like, I've seen the game played, Several times. I've seen Let's Plays of it on YouTube. I've seen speedruns of it, mainly by this one person, but hey. Um. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really crazy. And Mario 64 speedruns are so precise. So, you like stuff? <laughs> it's a little awkward date for me, just... Uh, for me, just my dates, yeah. Yeah, but it, it's, it's whatever. It's, you know, availability. I do want to ask them at some point, like, what was the thought process on matching everyone up for the 1v1 races aside from availability? Because <laughs> I think that was the biggest one, is, like, availability on weekends. So. <gasps> I love stuff. Stuff. Absolutely. Let me see. Don't see her yet. Is she gonna go live? Not yet. I don't know. <gasps> hey, Ball, do you like stuff? Defiantly. Def nothing like defiantly liking stuff. Nothing like it. <laughs> huh. Let me see. Uh, again, I would raid Max, but he is playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I want to say he is further than Vegito is, so it would be spoilers for us. I think he's fairly far into the game, so... Like, there are a lot of people playing, you know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, because of course they are. I'm just stalling like Tessa said. I know, I know. Thank you for the hydrate, Jared. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. And I was 100% slouching. Vegito can probably confirm. <sighs> ah! Another 50 turns while you stall. No. No, I'm not doing another 50. That's just another, like, three hours. That is another three hours. Of course, the one time I purposefully stall and she doesn't make me stall. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. It is fine. I'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, finding someone to raid is always difficult. <laughs> Let my Prey 5 speedrun while you stall. No! I am not doing a My Prey 5 speedrun. No. Again, I would just like speedrun until the game crashes. That's that's really That is really about all I am capable of with Mario Party 5. Uh 
Brain tested chain 18, then 50 turns. Problem solved. <laughs> Again, I would if I could. I also have chores to do. I, I neglected dishes for the last couple of days, so those need done. I'm also gonna wait till the ad is over. Because <laughs> there's an ad break happening. Of course, yeah, the one time. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, the hardest part is finding someone not playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's an EU name grab, it's fine. Raid 8 Ball. Of course. Uh, hmm. I mean, speaking of Mario 64. Why, Ed? I know. I know. What a rough time. Hmm. I think someone to rate is always tough. Yeah, everyone's playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. And I don't want to poke my head in too much because I don't want to spoil myself by accident. <laughs> I don't want a washing machine, Mr. Answer! <laughs> what ads did everyone get for those that got ads? I'm just curious. Sometimes I get like the wildest ads. I get like the wildest things. Sometimes I get pizza ads, sometimes I don't. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and find someone here. I got a WWE 2K24 ad, nice. Fitting. Fitting. This is very fitting. Think. Got a washing machine and Jersey Mike. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um. Hmm. I think I might have someone in mind. Ramen ad. JK, it was pizza? Pizza, of course, it was the other thing we talked about. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Uh, actually, I've got an idea. I think we are going to uh, go raid someone. I haven't raided in a while. Of course, the one time I stall for time and she is not live when, <laughs> when she's supposed to be, of course, right? Raid a duck? A duck? I mean, there is someone I follow named Duck, but they are not live at the moment. They've been going through some stuff I've seen on their Twitter. I haven't seen them live in a minute. But I think they they would have ended by the time I'm done here. But, um, okay. I think I am going to go raid someone by the name of... I'm, like, constantly refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're gonna go raid someone by the name of Laidback Lou. Uh, they're doing uh, Mario Kart Day, doing some Mario Kart for Thursday. Um, he's really awesome. He pops in the chat. He was in chat yesterday for a little bit too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go raid Laidback Lou, doing lots of Mario Kart and stuff. Be really fun, good time. Pokemon Channel is live. Tell me the duck story? What duck story? I don't know. Raid yourself and keep streaming. I got things to do, okay? I got things to do. So we're gonna go raid Laidback Lou. Uh, it'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, tomorrow should be Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, Monday? I don't know what Monday's gonna do. Tuesday! This upcoming Tuesday... I mean, Mario Party probably, because Riley's got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. <sighs> And it's in the morning, so I don't... Maybe. Uh, but yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Mario Party. Wait, what? Retro Jenny? Did she just go live? No? Okay. Uh... 
All right. Uh, I think it was like a, a test that she did is what Vegeta was telling me. So, but yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to go raid Layback Blue. So, uh, thank you all for coming out and hanging out. And today was really fun. Got some funny moments today. It was great. So, yeah, we're going to go raid Layback Blue. Uh, thank, you for th bleh. thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out. And we will see you next time. Something more than this I've lost control of it